comes out, even in the special love relationships, and, and breaks through. Because, you know, the, the flip side of a compliment is always a, is a rejection. And both are unreal. The, the self that is being complimented, you know, is, is, a, it's a, construct is a construct too. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And when you can start to see that they're both just two different forms of the same thing, then you can withdraw from, uh, from investing in that. In, in the Urantia book, it, it talks about in several places, that when, when the apostles describe Jesus, uh, it says that you know, he was very caring. He, his sense of real compassion and caring coming from him without flattery. <laughs> you know, in this world, um, those are associated that um, flattery, you know, oh, I love your hair, I love that, those pants you're wearing or those clothes or love that car you drive or whatever, is associated with caring, you know. This is, this is not true empathy, this is not true caring in the, in the metaphysical, truest sense, um, to, to accept someone, regardless of their appearance, you know, to look past beyond the appearance and, and, and remember who they are is to just accept them who they are, to not buy into the behaviors, to not buy into what they say or don't say. But not to buy into any of the appearances. Yes, because the appearances are the construct. Mm -hmm. The appearances are the mm -hmm. veil. And so to even compliment someone on appearance is to reinforce that construct for them and for and for me for my mind because it reinforces that that if I compliment you it reinforces that in my mind that you are what you appear to be yes. and therefore I am and therefore I am what I appear to be right which is a body and a right. person and a point of guilt <laughs>